artillery. Guys, what is going on? I am Tizilla83. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and taking a little bit of time out of your day to check out this video of Battlefield 1. At the end of the video, if you would be so kind, I'd appreciate it if you would like, comment, share the content you're watching, wherever, however, on social media, whatever. It'd be great. And if you haven't already, feel free to tap that subscribe button down below. Let's take a trip into the past. So before we go any further, I got to let you guys know this is a first impressions video, not a full review in this game in Battlefield 1 and they've done this before in their previous games. They always try to to get you to, you know, to have a proper feel for their game. So one campaign may be about flying an airplane, another campaign's about driving a tank and another one about combat on the ground and another one doing this and that about driving vehicles. They're trying to get you for fully immersed into what their game is and what it's all about. And obviously they're trying to point you in the direction of playing their multiplayer, which is by far the true star uh, or what makes this game complete is how great their multiplayer really is. But before we get into that, let's finish up on their single player on their campaign first. As far as the stories, now I don't know how they managed to do this, but they you feel like it's you know that part of the century, that part of you know uh, of time. You feel like you're in World War One. Now the individual stories themselves, I haven't played them all, but what I have played. I don't really care about the characters. They kind of failed to make me really care about. And that's that's kind of the downside of chopping up the campaign, you know, in following four or five different stories. It's hard to really get a feel or a full uh, you know, the full feel of of a of all these different stories that are chopped up and under, you know, five or six missions where there's very few cutscenes. Yeah, they they talk back and forth and you know, you 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 know, you talk to other people in in, in the uh, while you're playing. You know, when you're actually in the cut in, in the in the gameplay itself, in cutscenes, they do their best to try and try and hit you in the feels, but they don't really accomplish. At least they didn't for me. I never felt like, oh no, I don't want that guy to die. No, I don't. I don't. Oh, was he hit? Did he get struck by a bullet? I really never cared. I, I promise I'm not a sociopath. I, I just there was nothing about the single player campaign that made me feel for the story. But what they did, what they did manage to do, was make me feel immersed into World War One. This is definitely World War One, and they, they just they land it, man. They do such a good job of that. Again, story not really there, but feel making you feel like you're a part of that era they they knock it out of the park so it's kind of difficult how to how would i if i even do finish the campaign i'm not even sure what kind of score i'd give it obviously i've got more campaign to play and it's possible that my opinion might change but as for now i'd say that the campaign itself in the in terms of the story is a c minus but their ability to make you feel like you're in world war one to fully immerse you into that era is like an A plus. Just knocked it out of the park. Um, it is 30 frames. Battlefield is obviously single player and online. 30 frames a second. I never, I have yet to see any frame dips. Um, this is the downside of being, you know, on, on the consoles, playing at 30 frames. But again, I never feel any strong dips. It never, never is, it, it's, ne it's nothing like other games that start off with 30 frames. It's nothing like, you know, like like a Witcher three or a Fallout four, where you can definitely tell they struggle to maintain frame rate and to and to give you solid optimization. This game is solidly optimized, very very well done. But I don't expect anything different from Dice, Star Wars Battlefront. Although it has many many faults, one of the things that they nailed was the optimization of the game, and it was the gameplay, it was the gun battles and everything. They did a good job in those aspects. Obviously, the lack of a true solo campaign and everything else and, you know, some other things. But overall, they did it again. They make you feel like, just like they did with Battlefront, where you felt like you're in the Star Wars universe, they make you feel like on Battlefront, on Battlefield 1, like you're in World War 1. One of the most, you know, the bloodiest conflict 
possibly in, in world history. Let's get into the multiplayer side of things. I'm going to be completely real with you guys here. And this, I promise this won't be long. I am not a copy and paste first person shooter fan. If you could tell by a lot of the content that I, that I make on my channel, um, looter shooters, you know, games like borderlands fallout. Hell yes. All about it. You know, some of my all time favorite games are in those, uh, you know, the fallout, you know, three and fallout new Vegas and fallout Four, borderlands one and two love them. But when it comes to copy and paste first person online shooters, I've just never been a big fan. Never have. I, I'm so out of touch with the Call of Duty crowd and the Battlefield crowd. It's not even funny. A lot of that content I don't make here. Um, after listening to my to my uh, fellow co-host on on the Digital Fire podcast, listening to Big Fry, watching all these YouTube videos, getting an opinion from fellow YouTubers and everywhere I can and reading up as much as I can, I decided to red box the game. Was incredibly impressed, mostly from the, you know, obviously from the multiplayer. Couldn't get enough when I played it. I eventually bought the game. I bought it actually yesterday. I, I am so just ready to go back in. After I'm done recording, I'm going to try, if I can, get in some hours or get in some time. Huh, hours. Funny I said hours. I won't get hours. I'll get, if I'm lucky, 30 minutes. But regardless, I'm going to try and get some time into the Battlefield 1 multiplayer. It's I haven't been this impressed by an online first person shooter since Modern Warfare 2. And if I had to if I had to pick between you know third person shooters and and, and first person shooters, I always am, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to third person shooters. But yet this this game, this online multiplayer is better than some really good third person shooters that I've played. A lot of them actually. I don't know how they managed to do it. They have nine different maps here. I don't have all their names. I apologize. Um, I'm about, like I said, four to six hours into their multiplayer. I do have their modes, though. We have their multiplayer modes are Conquest, Domination, Rush, Team Deathmatch, and War Pigeons. Now, the classes they have are Assault, Medic, Support, and Scout. Obviously, Scout is the sniper. They do have, obviously, land and air vehicles are available on the multiplayer, and they have elite classes. But uh, that... This has just been one of the, the funnest online experiences I've had. Now, is there going to be, you know, when I'm 10, 12, 20 hours into the multiplayer, is it going to die off a little? I'm sure. But I really can't wait to find out. I'm just so blown away by this experience and how fun it is. Yeah, there's some, there are some other first-person shooters I still need to play. Uh, I'm going to give, I'll probably red box... Uh, the, the next Call of Duty. I do need. I still need to play Rainbow Six more. I played the beta, never really went back. Didn't bother to red box it. I do need to play other games. I'll give you that. But this experience has just been one of the funnest. And I, based on what I've played, again, I'm under ten hours, but based on what I've played, I recommend that you at least go give it a go give it a shot. Go rent it. Go red box it right now. I don't think you'll be sorry, especially if you're just a fan of first person shooters. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, you're going to love this experience. I don't know how they manage to do it. They go back in time, you know, where everyone else is going into the future. You know, they're they're going to these jump boosts and walking on walls bullshit. Battlefield 1 is keeping it boots on the ground and keeping it real. Congrats, DICE and EA. I think you've made an online multiplayer masterpiece, and I really cannot wait to dive further into this game. Even for a first impressions video, I am that blown away. That says a lot about the game. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm done here. I want to say again, thank you for checking out the video. If you would, feel free to share the content. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Until the next video, you guys try like hell to be kind to one another. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.